Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that just happened. Hello everyone, this is James, and welcome back for more Minecraft. Now, last episode, we have made the Apothecary Room, and we did a few other odds and ends, I would believe so, because uh, I don't really keep track at everything whatsoever. But on today's episode, we are going to be adventuring forth. I got my boat ready to go and whatnot, and I pretty much got all this. What I'm going to be planning on doing, actually, I'm actually going to be just, you know, maybe finding an ocean monument out, out this way and whatnot. So let's go right ahead. Now, I have actually never went out this way. Um, I think all the other ways were just like land and whatnot. And I should have checked my coordinates. Actually, I can check my coordinates now. It's a negative 160, negative 109 or something like that. So um, if I get lost, I'll know where I'm going. But the main objective, like I said, is going to be finding an ocean monument just to know where it is and I can actually start making a farm out of that in the far, far future. Because making a farm out of an ocean monument is a little difficult. Other than that, I'm not too sure where I want to go. Um, there's like a ship there, actually. Which I'll actually go in now. Oh wait, that's not a ship. Oh well. Whoop. <laughs> My eyes are good, I swear. We got some land coming up here, but I kind of want to stick with the... Uh... I don't want to just stick with the uh, ocean unless it's just gonna cut me off like right off like right then here You know what? I, I guess I get a feeling it's gonna cut me off right here I don't want to see an entrance in a river or anything like that. So uh, well, I think this is it Well, the main thing is that there is no ocean monument like anywhere in that little ocean right there So we got that we at least we know that there's another, like, ocean somewhere at Sharktooth Bay, actually, that we can go over and see if there is an ocean monument, but, um... Now I guess I'm just going to try to find a village, see uh, if I can find anything from there. Um, you know, just to gather whatever, but... As of now, I guess it's just, like, looking to see what's uh, here and what's not here. Dude, this land is actually really flat. This is, like, a really good place just to build something here. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna keep this in mind actually. It shouldn't be too hard to find actually. It's just it's just a just a stones to throw away from like my house. So that'd be good to know. I don't know what I'll build, but you know, that's a good place to actually, you know, do whatever I want to do on there. I've also realized actually I do need more dark oak trees, if anything. You know, just go to a place where with all those dark oak trees. I just start hacking away because I've been running out of dark wood trees. Um, the biome that's close by actually, it's like really small compared to like a normal dark oak wood uh, place, roofed forest actually. So it's that would be pretty good to find as well. I should also probably just uh, collect the Asalia, I think that's how you say it. The Isalia trees as well. I'll, I'll get it on my return trip, but uh, is that a ship? That is a ship. Wait, I've been here before. Wait a minute. I have been here and there's seeds. Okay, um, <laughs> I guess I've been here since episode three, actually. I did leave some stuff here. Okay, well, I'll take the rest of the stuff, I guess. I'll... The thing is now, I just don't know where I went after this. I don't know if I went this way or if I went straight up ahead. I'm just going as far... What is this? North? This is north. As far as north as I can. Oh, hey, another jungle. I wonder if we'll find a, like a jungle temple around here. <gasps> oh, yes, this is what I need. I need this. Even, even if it's not enough or a lot, I'm going to try to get the saplings out of this. Because I need it. I need this. I also need to start making a dark oak wood um, farm of some kind. I don't know how to get more saplings out of this. I don't I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if I should use fortune in order to get something like that. I gotta look that up. I want to see if actually, like fortune actually like raises the chances of just getting saplings. I gotta see that. If that's the case, then I think I'm going to be using my pickaxe a lot more often. If anything, though, I'm probably going to like actually enchant a, a hoe of some kind and get like fortune out of it and then, you know, just work my magic from there. And of course, I will also just look it up just to be sure if that's the case. If it doesn't affect it, then I'm not going to do it, of course. I'm not going to do it. Uh, this biome is pretty small, I'm not going to lie. I think there's like only five trees here. I think I think that's why I'm just like not really too... too interested in this forest and keeping it alive. Alright, I'm going to look for a uh, temple because I've yet to find one of those. 
Yeah, it's kind of strange because like I've been finding a lot of jungles, but not a lot of temples. And when I say not a lot of temples, I mean like I haven't found any temples. It shouldn't be too hard to find a temple, actually. It should be just like, yeah, it's just cobblestone. Go find it. It's gray. I don't know how you would miss it. What the? Oh, okay, it's just a parrot. The absolute, the absolute moment where I, my brain just stops and I just see a bird I haven't seen before. I'm just like, oh, what is that? Is that an alien? And there's a forest fire. Wait a minute. I think I see something that's catching my eye. What was that sound? I don't know. Oh yeah, actually, never mind. Ow. <laughs> that's, that's the sound I heard. Where's my shield? Oh, there's my shield. I found my shield. Hey, don't. Okay. Oh, all right, bye. <laughs> okay. All right, I think there's lava underneath. Oh no, it's just him just being extinguished okay you know what you you do you do you i'm gonna explore this temple and i swear to god if there's a creeper in here i'm gonna be upset ow i don't know why i still got hit for that pretty stupid uh go ahead do that i think that's a trap chest too actually okay that works too Oh, okay. It's just... Just arrows, really? I thought they have, like, some special arrows. Okay, that's fantastic. Just one iron ingot. I know the real treasure is in here, though. I'm gonna actually try to solve it, because, uh... I, I wanna... I wanna look smart. Okay. I did it. I did it. I'm a smart man. Thanks. You know, I found one temple and my whole inventory is just filled to the brim of random stuff that I don't really need, by the way. I just need, like, I just need, like, just iron ingots or just, like, treasure. But no, I'm carrying bones and string, by the way. And, you know, I don't need that string, but I can make a fishing rod out of it. This is also going to be a base. I don't know when, but it will be. Alright, I think I'm happy with what I've done to myself. What the heck is that? It's a nether portal. Well, I don't know if I'll make that. I got too many good stuff to risk it. Good evening! I'm here to steal everything that you have. I might take the crying obsidian too, because why not? I don't even know how to make crying obsidian, actually. So that'd be pretty good. I'd be so sad if there was lava underneath. Me and my two brain cells trying to figure out what I should take. Because I'll take the iron ingots or the iron nuggets and then I'll uh... Oh, oh no. I don't think any of this is really needed. I don't know why I'm going to use a fortune 2 axe. Oh, there's another forest fire. I don't know what to do with an axe, like... A fortune 2? I don't know what to do with that gonna get to a point where i'm just gonna leave my bed like wherever and then i'm just gonna be like oh well i guess uh i don't have a boat anymore not a boat or a bed i just don't have a bed and then i'll just be like oh well uh i don't know what to do anymore also i'm gonna let those bamboo grow I'm gonna give them a new life can i sail around this i kind of want to just sail around this and just go back home now it's been a fun time actually i had fun i found a temple and i got a lot of things out of it Alright, so I'm back home. I put everything away. I think that was a pretty good adventure uh, adventure segment of the uh, video because, you know, then I got more dark oak wood and I found a actual uh, jungle temple, which I was trying to find back in episode 3, so that's pretty nice. But now I'm going to be showing you the changes I've been doing with my house. And I know I said I was not going to ever like build off camera ever again, but uh, I got bored. Uh, so, uh, yeah. What I did with... What I did with this is, um, I pretty much gave this an indent now when, when it comes to a wall. So it looks a little bit more detailed. And I, I don't know if I want to put something in the middle there, but what I want to put here is a little painting and maybe put a, whatchamacallit, put a little pot there or anything like that. You know, put some decorations up and whatnot. Um, I put the grass here. I think you saw this last episode, but, um, that's basically it. Um, going over here. I've actually changed the uh, cow farm a little bit, so now I can actually use this properly. Um, back then, there was no water in the bottom there, which you actually need to actually have in order to make the cow farm actually work or the cow crusher to work. And what you usually do, what you need to do is you need to do a semicircle or do a U shape in order to get all the cows to breed. 
And the thing is, you can have 24 cows there, and once the 25th cow has spawned, it will kill off the adult cows first. And that only works in Java, so I don't know about Bedrock, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, but uh, Java, in Java, the cow crusher does work. In uh, Bedrock, I'm not too sure. Now over here, I got it in a way where the wall right here would actually start to like, you know, just come down, and then you'll see the wall that's going into the storage room. And I felt like that would look pretty nice. I knocked off the torches here, and I put lanterns here, and I'm probably gonna put lanterns like just along, along here maybe. I'll see how I feel about them in a later <laughs> at a later time. I don't want to do it now. It costs a little bit of iron to do that. I knocked out the uh, support beams actually, and I got this little support beam here still just to keep the chickens in, but uh, I'll figure that out later. But I pretty much kept these two, put lanterns on, put the oak fences there, and then I put the uh, stairs right here just, you know, just for extra support. And then I kind of got started on the mining, uh, in the mining room. And whatnot. Didn't really do much about that, but uh, this is right here. The shroom lights are the main lighting for everything. So, but they're just hidden, but with the trap doors. So there's that. Other than that, um, I feel like the mining room is going to be kind of small. Maybe I don't know. Um, over here, I kind of pretty much uh, singled this out so it won't be going into the spider room, but it goes to the storage unit right here, which I'm probably gonna like knock down and see what else I can do with this. But other than that, I don't know where this is going to be leading up to, so I'll figure out what to do there. But going up here, I got all this room right here to like do whatever, and I'll, I'll figure out what I want to do here. But for now, it's just going to be a big old room right here. I didn't get rid of any of the planks here yet. And right here, I got a little table here to work with. I'm actually going to put a looming table or a loom here and use it as a looming station. Got there's a spider spawner, which I haven't really changed too much, and I haven't changed this wall too much as well. And I don't know if I will, but uh, I'll think about that in a later time. More wall. I hear an enderman. I don't know where he's at. And here I did not actually put an indent here. I didn't put I didn't put lights here because there's already ample lighting. And I did not finish the roof there because uh, I I stopped I stopped there so. And this is where I stopped here. <laughs> but I've also put like a little, uh, little pattern, well not pattern, but I put a little variation of the uh, apothecary room here. Um, I don't know if I'll change it, I don't know if I will, uh, but if it looks like that forever, then uh, well, uh, I'm fine with that. But other than that, nothing really changed in the blacksmith room. I put emeralds like in here just to keep it, just to give it a little bit of a variety, but we'll see what happens. Um, if I don't like it, I'll take it out. Alright, so I got 52 sugarcane. I kind of want to do something a little different in a way where, you know, it would just be a fun project. It's not really necessary, but it would be fun to make nonetheless. I want to make a hallway of some sort. And not with that, but I got more observers, which I can always also just make more. Because I got a lot of quartz, and I got a lot of redstone, and I got a lot of wood. And it does for the pistons. And I got a lot of iron. I want to make a sugar hall where I can just go down and just, you know, collect as much, uh, no, collect as much sugar cane as possible and then turn it into sugar. What I'm going to be doing over here is I'm going to be making a little basement floor, which I'm actually going to be putting it right here. I don't even have a shovel. I would love to have a shovel. Actually, I don't need a shovel. All right. So my main idea is to actually, you know, just have what I have like up there with the bamboo and all that. But also just have it down here because um, I am greedy and I need more sugar cane. I don't have any reason whatsoever with my uh, idea, but um, the thing is, um, it's fine. I, 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 I need this. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying um, before, I got rudely interrupted by a math. I can do this, and I can. Put the cobblestone there and pretend that doesn't exist and do this and there the ho hopper would also be like right here and then i'll have a chest here and uh i don't have another chest but that's fine um what i'm saying is there's gonna be a chest here and there's gonna be a chest not here but a chest right here
So the next step is to put all the pistons in here and I'm going to find out real quick if I have enough pistons and if I don't, well, I'm gonna have to make some more because it's not too difficult to make with the amount I have and I think I have enough because, uh, I think, I don't know. It looks like I have enough. Alright, I did not have enough. Whoa. Hi. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna just ignore that. Ignore that. Also ignore that. Alright, so with a lot of resources being used unnecessarily, I have finally created the sugar hall. That's the name that I'm rolling with. I don't know what else to roll with. So basically, this is basically a hallway of uh, sugar cane and it will come out of this chest and the chest down there. And I think I might extend this and I think it's actually going to be hitting the uh, side of the hill and I hope it doesn't hit my farm and if it does hit my farm, well, that's going to be a, that's going to be a problem. So I got some plans with that sugar, with the sugar hull, but um, for now it's just going to be like that. And the plan is to actually like see if I can actually put it out into the, into, into the mountain and then it can be an alternative uh, entrance to the house, maybe. So yeah, that's a, this could be a pretty interesting. Let me just look out here because the thing is, it's um, it's gonna be right here. That's where the hall is gonna be, and it shouldn't be able to hit the uh, yeah, it shouldn't be able to hit the um, yeah, there's no way. There's not, it's not gonna hit the farm. It's gonna be like around here when it's gonna emerge. I'm probably gonna have to build up a little bit, but other than that, that's gonna be a alternative entrance for me. Um, I'm probably gonna have to cover that up sooner or later, but uh, as of now, we'll I'll just look away from it, never, uh, never acknowledge it ever again. And when it comes to the alternative entrance, which I will probably do in a later part, as I don't really feel like doing it right now, it is probably going to be right here, which is a pretty good, uh, which is a pretty good place for it. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting how that's gonna work. But, uh, you might be wondering why I did this. Uh, like I said, I don't have a reason. I just want to build it because I thought about it and I was like, you know, I could make a bigger version of whatever this is, you know, if I care enough. And I did. And the best part is I'm leaving this he here too. So now I have two of these. I got one up here and then the other one all the way down here. Which I don't even know is going to grow because I don't know if there's enough light there. Which I think there is enough light, so... Should be okay. I think as long as you can place a sugarcane down, it can actually grow. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Oh yeah, I want to show you how I, uh, how I, uh, what what I used to build the uh, pretty much the interior. Interior is nothing special. I kind of just uh, I used birch like here and there and all that, and I actually used the furnaces as like you know just like a a, th a thing to just hold a single line of birch and also shroomites in order, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I uh, finished it off with uh, stone bricks. Yeah, I don't really have any sense of that creation, but that's okay. Um, it's going to be fine. I don't know if anyone else builds with furnaces. I'm pretty sure they do, but um, I, I've never seen a lot of people build with furnaces. I did some like right here as well. And the back and the backup furnaces are also kind of interesting in a way because uh, let me uh, let me show you a little line down there. which I could just okay. Well, <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a fun time building furnaces, and it's just like oh wow that's pretty interesting, right? I don't know, but maybe I'll use that in a later build, and then just drive myself insane because I'm using furnaces. I'm gonna right click on them every single time, and uh, that would be fun. But this will be the end of the episode. Um, I'm going to try to like uh, shorten these episodes up for like maybe 20 minutes because I think 20 minutes is a little too long. And I can also get some more episodes out uh, every so often. I think on the first or second episode, actually, it was like 28 minutes, which is not too bad. Uh, we'll see how long this video actually goes on for. But I, I like this video. I like this episode. We went, out, we went out for an adventure. We found a temple. And then we came back. We made a sugar haul. And uh, that's basically what my uh, Sunday was. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.